Hey friends. I had a, I've had an, I've had an, an interesting, um, interesting experience the last couple days, as you can probably tell by my voice, I'm not yet 100% recovered <clears throat> and I, um, and this, this thing is happening where I, it's like you feel, and I'm sure that many of you, many of us have experienced this. When you're under the weather or <clears throat> just low energy, it's like our mind slows down and we just feel less intelligent. <laughs> and it's such an interesting phenomenon because how could that really happen right how could you go for, how could your mind become less intelligent and the answer is well because it's not intelligence isn't really coming from the mind it's coming from the energy flowing through the mind so when that starts to dampen we have less it's like a car slows down when it doesn't have enough gas or the right kind of gas And, and as I take, as I have that experience in the context of, um, of spiritual practice, it's like, whoa, what's happening here? I'm moving backwards. What's going on? There's a, there's a sense of, there can be a sense I, uh, of, um, somehow going off the path. <clears throat> and, but what has showed up in the last, I don't know, day or so, I guess, yesterday is when this came through for the first time. I've had this feeling like this is an opportunity. I always feel this way whenever I get, whenever I get sick, whenever somehow my system goes through a period of disarray or pain or illness there's a feeling of opportunity because what I am what what also happens when the energy level subsides the energy that's animating us is stuff that's not that important really begins to appear unimportant because we don't have any excess energy to spend on it. So it's almost like an internal culling that starts to happen in a, in a period like this for me where I know I'm going to be letting some things go. I've already kind of let them go, but I but as I come out of this now, I might keep let go of them. Um, and other things are showing up as more important. You know, the th other other things for whatever reason, it's like the things that that my energetic momentum just kind of carries me past when I'm in my sort of normal, healthy, vibrant state. Um, I don't have that same momentum right now. And so things are showing up and I'm going, oh, I really care about that. Why don't I spend, why don't I put more of my attention on it? I had a really interesting, I think I mentioned this in yesterday's post, I was standing doing my yoga yesterday and and um, had some beautiful insights about the workshop that I'm gonna be running. You heard it here first, you'll hear it here again. Um, about my creative coaching business. I, it, and, it, and it was like, it's almost like because I, 
because I was out of my usual kind of rhythm, I just, a door opened and stuff started coming through and I was like, oh, that's really cool. This is a, this is, these are good ideas. This is something I should really um, take seriously. And I wrote them down or did a quick sketch of them. Maybe I didn't write them down. Maybe I recorded them, but I captured them. And, and it was like this, this odd gift out of nowhere, you know, that I've kind of been searching for for a while, but not really finding and probably spending a lot of energy avoiding, but not really knowing that that's what I'm doing. Um, so all that is to say, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this period where I sound like this and my energy is not quite where I wish it were. Um, but there are a number of gifts in this.
fifths and fourths. Kind of fun. Thank you for watching, folks. I promise, if you're showing up for the first time, my voice does not always sound like this. I'm usually more audible. And that will, those days will return. It will not be long. I have faith now. I'm coming out of this. But thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. So much love. I just love being on this journey with you. So thank you. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.